Last year, the government report set out a GDP growth target of no less than six percent. A popular theory said the goal will be around five to six percent this year. We asked Yan Se, associate professor at the Guanghua School of Management of Peking University and chief economist of Founder Securities, if this prediction reflects the reality and the leading sectors to drive a sustained growth of China's economy. That's certainly a reasonable uh, growth target, and uh, it, it reflects uh, the growth potential of the Chinese economy. Last year, one of the biggest drive of Chinese economic growth is export, but I don't expect China's export this year is able to continue this growth speed. So it will slow down. The other thing is the uh, uh, China is balancing the short-term target. Of stabilizing economic growth and a long-term strategic target, such as、uh, these reducing carbon emission, such as、um, what we call common prosperity, and also to adjust the economic structure, such as to move from real estate-driven economic growth to a more high-quality economic growth. If we can、uh, have a better balance between long-term and short-term growth, and、uh, mo- most importantly, if we can stimulate. Uh, the incentives of the private sectors,、uh, and I think、uh, China will be able to、uh, reach this growth target. Since the pandemic, the recovery of consumption in China has not been as robust. Some critics blamed China's zero COVID policy for holding back the speed of the recovery. But according to Professor Yan, we should not just take the issue at face value. It is COVID. Not COVID policy that、uh, affects consumption. COVID-19 is a very new thing, so everyone is f- trying to figure out the best way to deal with it, and there's a lot of uncertainty.、Uh, and、uh, I no, recently I see、uh, the new cases、uh, in China and the way the local government deal with it. I do see some improvements. So they try to. Make these affected areas smaller. They try to be more precise in con- controlling and quarantining people. And I do think that the policies are changing according to the changing disease. How can we revive consumption? Professor Yan offered his advice. For local governments affected by the disease, they can try and. Many ways, for example, digital coupons. I think that's very convenient in China today. So these are the ways to stimulate the uh, uh, the consumption. And uh, uh, the other th- the other side is better practices in disease control. I think they are still doing that. The data of China's foreign trade, especially in exports, in 2021, was beyond expectations for many analysts. However. With COVID flare-ups and a shrinking external demand, yen said exports are likely to fall back in the long run. At the very beginning of the COVID-19 outbreak,、uh, that's the early 2020, among all the pessimist views, so I was one of the few economists who、um, predicted that China's growth,、uh, export growth, will be strong. And、uh, the reason I was saying that is because I I see demand is still there, demand. Remain strong. Export will remain strong, but it will gradually come back to normal. So, so I think its contribution to GDP growth will also gradually、uh, decline. So we have to come back to the、uh, the situation before the COVID-19. We have to rely more on domestic economic growth to、uh, to re- to reach our GDP growth target. Last year, China went through power outages. Electricity and coal shortages affected production, and as a result, some argue that China's carbon peaking and carbon neutrality promises are slowing down the economy. Professor Yan speaks strongly against the idea. I think it is absolutely wrong to say the carbon promises will be、uh, something negative to GDP growth. I think.、Uh, Uh, it depends on how we implement these policies. Local governments will turn this strategic target to short-term target. During the Central Economic Work Conference, the leadership in China pointed out this problem. So、uh, it takes time for us to figure out、uh, the best way to implement these policies. This will bring opportunities, not drag of the economic growth.